Hey, this is Jim Bergman with MeasureQuick. Last week I posted up a video showing the NAVAC MP2 DLM 2 CFM battery powered vacuum pump doing an evacuation on some recovery cylinders. And it was a pretty interesting video, but we had a lot, of, a lot of comments coming back, you know, well, that's really cool seeing on a recovery tank, but how would it work on a real system? So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna, I got this set up here, and I'll show you what we've got going here as I get the battery pump started, but I got the vacuum broken on this quarter inch side port here. I'm gonna go ahead and turn the pump on, and at the same time here, I'll restart the uh, recording here. And so what I've got is the True Blue hoses, a 3 8 fitting tied to the top of the pump, a couple clamps here on a stainless steel T, then I've got two hoses coming over to two core tools that are tied on to a line set. And I got that line set tied on to a five ton evaporator coil. So I got the gauge, the vacuum gauge is tied to a port we braised on uh, to the line set. And so we're basically measuring vacuum as far away from the pump as you could possibly do it. This is a great way to measure vacuum. A lot of times I'll sweat a port on when I'm doing residential, residential installation. I'll sweat a port on here so I can get superheat and subcooling right at the evaporator coil and then I can also use the same port for doing my evacuation. So just to make this look as real as possible, what I did here is this is uh, a line set is 3 8 by 7 8 So this is 7 8 tubing, 50 foot of 7 8 tubing and also 50 foot of 3 8 tubing and I just have some access fittings tied on the end so we can get an evacuation on this entire coil here and pull this thing down. So you can see now that we've had this thing running for I don't know, we're about a minute and a half in or so. We're already down at 25,000 microns, so we're degassing very, very quickly. And now we're to the point where the vacuum gauge is reading. We're coming down, as you can see here, you know, a tens of thousands of microns per minute. So we've got a really, really fast pull down, and this thing's starting to run down the way that we expected to see. Now, just to show you this, just to uh, show you, this is a five ton coil. So you can see the model number is an 060. It's a five ton coil. And if you want to take a look over here, it's an aluminum coil, all aluminum uh, tied in. But it's a pretty darn large coil. I calculated the entire uh, length of the coil at about 120 foot equivalent length of tubing. So we just sort of measured the length of the tubes, took into account the elbows, and it's about 120 foot overall length of tubing on that, on that system. So we're gonna let this thing pull down for a few minutes, and we'll just watch this as it comes down here. and. Uh, might scrub it through the video a little bit just to make it go a little faster, but uh, we'll let this go and I'll pick it up when it gets closer to 300. All right, so we're approaching the 300 micron mark right now. See this thing's pulling down here. I'll get a time on this so we can see when we're crossing that. Uh, at time, so we're about six minutes and 21 seconds here, and we're just about to cross the 300 micron mark. We'll go back here, 292 microns. So I'm gonna go ahead and isolate the system off here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna press isolate here, start a leak cage to test, and I'm gonna isolate my two core tools here, and I'll just go ahead and kill my pump, so we don't have to talk over top of it. And you can see this is going through a, a decay test right now, and you can see how slow the decay is. It looks like we're gonna be Totally up fine on the evacuation and looks like we got a pass here. Come over here and you can take a look at the gauge here. We got a pass on the evacuation gauge. So it did pass the decay test. And what I want to show you here, what's so important to understand right here is we pulled the system down at about six minutes. And the NAVAC pump has about an hour of runtime on the battery. So you could easily get four to five systems evacuated, five ton systems with a single battery uh, when you pair the NAVAC pump with the True Blue hoses. So it makes it a really, really impressive combination. We were watching some videos earlier, some guys were doing online using this pump, and what they were doing was they were tying it to quarter inch hoses, and it was requiring multiple batteries to get the evacuation done. Well, there's nothing wrong with having multiple batteries. What I'm telling you is when you pair it with True Blue, you probably don't need them. But as you can see, five ton system, three, eight, seven, eight line set, six minutes, start to finish, we're done. So that really makes an impressive combination. Anyway, this is Jim Bergman with MeasureQuick. Thanks a lot for watching.